thanks for joining the session um, today uh, the main session uh, aims for like uh, microsoft sql dbas or uh, like uh, nowadays uh, like most of the organizations are looking for multiple or the uh, skills who are having okay so if you go for job search okay uh, only for particular uh, ms sql dba so there are no opportunities like that as of now so nowadays requirements are changing projects are changing and every company is expecting uh, a person who are having a multiple rdbm products now they are calling it as a dba engineer or data engineering okay now so uh, like how we need to learn like basically uh, we are like all familiar with sql server uh, and which is installed on windows operating system but when it uh, when it comes to linux we are uh, it is very difficult why because we already addicted to the graphic user interface for our like windows and when you when come to linux we are all like uh, even to edit a single file we need a command so to avoid that to make uh, to help microsoft sql database administrator to progress progress and to enhance the skills in postgres dba so this is like a transition okay uh, for the so for the dbas so today uh, welcome to session and uh, the difference uh, between microsoft sql dba and what are the terms that we used to call in the postgres sql dba okay so if you see that uh, micro uh, sql server is the proprietary operating rdbms product from microsoft and uh, coming to postgres it is owned by the postgres sql global development group it is not related to proprietary and here we have full differential log backups but the same thing we are having with a different terminology like base backup uh, base backup with continuous arcing which is log backup and point in recovery there there is no concept of differential okay so microsoft sql dbm we call it as an uh, like uh, uh, rdbms only here uh, we the same uh, postgres is we can call, call it we can call it as rdbms it is auto committed and postgres is also committed no need to uh, you particularly use begin trans transition as per your requirement uh, post mysql database supports both windows and linux but i have given the star star means specific conditions it will support only few operating systems that is like rhel rh red hat linux uh, susu and um, ubuntu so only that there are two three four flavors are uh, flavors only that is going to support by the microsoft but whereas postgres we are having support of windows and various linux and max operating system as well here we use ssms tool to get connect work and work for microsoft here we have a pg admin tool we use to get connect here we call it as a dac pack and backpack uh, like uh, schema data and here we call it we can we can achieve the same functionality using pg underscore dump and pg base backup uh, like tools are there like commands okay coming to uh, like another differences we whenever we install sql server uh, we it, microsoft sql database will come with the default databases one is master model msdb tempdb resource db whereas is postgres sql database we are having three databases one is postgres template 0 and template 1 temp template 0 is like model database okay and resource, uh, here we have default sa user will get created but it is in disabled state but here is we are having postgres user and it will act will too and uh, we can use to directly we can connect every database it's uh, in postgres uh, in microsoft uh, sql server we have its own log file but in, whereas in postgres every day all the database is having only one log file here we call it as an instance here we call it as a postgres cluster even it is a standalone also we call it as a cluster here we are having a different kinds of high availability solutions and disaster recovery okay one is log shipping mirroring always on replication cluster but whereas in postgres we we are having only replication but in replication we are having multiple uh, types okay like all everything will be covered by the log shipping always kind of all stuff in come to in the replication in the replication we have synchronous replication asynchronous replication logical replication streaming replication 
so everything we have are covered in one terminology only here we use sql agent to schedule jobs but whereas in postgres we are having pg agent tool or we can use like cron jobs which is from linux end how we used to have task scheduler right so that's how in linux we use cron jobs but uh, the most money i will go with the pg agent only we can connect to sql server apart from ssms using sql cmd right but same as we can also connect using plsql okay uh, support if anything goes wrong sub microsoft is there to provide support but whereas in postgres it's a open source right it's a open source and uh, we have some sql community and there is no guarantee of the support but we have commercial support as well by the enterprise db and uh, second quadrant and other companies are most are the, these two companies are the like uh, best in the support so here we third party there is no allowed for extension and plugins custom plugins in microsoft but where it is allowed for the postgres now integrated authentication and sql authentication will be there now but here is in postgres role based authentication ldap rds support will be there now vacuum is there vacuum is used to reclaim the space when the dead when the deleted records will be there right so that when the de uh, deleted records will be there that uh, when we, we do vacuum the space will get released the same functionality we can use from the sync db okay sync whenever the de uh, we delete some data and we can de reclaim the space by using sync command right so that is the actual uh, related terminology rebuild uh, like whenever we rebuild pages will get uh, i mean adjusted and space get released right so i will go with the string db only the right word analyze is used whenever the statistics are not updated and uh, anal when uh, we use the command the statistics will get updated without reclaiming the space and tuple tuple we is calling it as a tuple we are calling it as a record here so uh, like we can connect to other databases of other products like mentioning the two part name three part name like uh, uh, db uh, database name dot db or non table name but have, whereas in postgres we cannot connect like that okay here we use linked servers but whereas in postgres we used to call as a db link to allow the remote connections to the microsoft we use like enable tcp ip ip protocol but whereas in postgres we need to like modify that uh, allow connect remote connections options we need to enable some parameters in pg hbo hyphen config file so here we use 1433 port number here we use 5432 port number like here we call it as a table spaces we are calling it as a physical address logical address logical or physical right like uh, whenever we create the database like c drive slash slash uh, database name like dot uh, mdf dot lf right that we used to call as a physical address but whereas in we call it as a table space and uh, coming to microsoft and as of today sql server 22 is the latest version whereas in postgres and 16 is the latest version and 17 and uh, like 18 are in pipeline but they have they have released a document but they have not yet released the source codes and everything here we have a 8 kb page and we cannot change it's a by default but whereas in postgres by default is 8 kb at the we, we can also change at the time of installation once it is fixed cannot be changed so these are the postgres uh, uh, like differences between the postgres and microsoft sql dba so this might help you if you if you are going to learn our postgres I hope uh, you may like this my initiation and uh, is there any feedback uh, let me know you can unmute and let me know your feedback please yeah as of now it's clear for me oh, thank you sir uh, yeah welcome thank you have a nice day bye